Hey everyone, my name is Kendra Schwarz and I am the manager of Online Bible Studies and I am joined by Melissa Taylor. Hey everybody. She is the Senior Director of Online Bible Studies in First Five and I'm joined by author Max Lucado because he wrote Because of Bethlehem yes. and we are studying Hello. this for Online Bible Studies which we're very excited about. Online Bible Studies sometimes we call it OBS, is where we take a book based around a certain topic. Right. So disappointment, marriage, rejection, and we study it together. We love reading God's word, we love community, and our goal here is to really dig deep into God's right. word through these books. Right. If you're studying with us, or if you're not, we're glad you stumbled upon this video because we think you're really going to like it. I believe so. Yes, yep. we believe so. We're believing that for all the people watching. <laughs> this week, we're in week one, and we're covering chapters one to three. All right, so Max, before we jump into a few questions that we have for you based around your book, we know you love Christmas, right? I love Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas. And we have some questions based around Christmas that we want to ask you. Maybe some of them. I didn't yeah. study. They could, be, they could be hard, so we're just going to rapid quiz. fire them yeah. to okay. you. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, what's your favorite Christmas carol? Silent Night. Okay. Do you nice. want to sing it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silent Night. Wow. Oh, very good. Very good. good. That was very the first, good. first two yes. months. All right, what's your favorite Christmas treat? Um, we, we had some friends who always, uh, a, a, a sweet, especially friend of my wife who makes this, um, it's kind of like Rice Krispies with, with it, it, it's sticky, but it's not just your traditional, uh, what we'd expect, those Rice Krispie treats. It's, I don't know how she does they it. They have a Christmas I do, flair I do, yeah, to them. Yeah, they've got something to them. One year, our dog ate the whole plate. Oh, well, that's a bummer. She brought it over. We sat it on the yeah. island. We were talking in the living room, came back, and they were all gone. Oh, oh that's sad. Ever since then, we have kept them from the dog. <laughs> that's good, smart. Good yeah. idea. That's smart. Okay, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Well, that, that's easy. That's easy. Years ago, I wrote a book called Christmas Candle, and it was turned into a movie. Wow. And it's, it's based uh, in, in the Cotswolds in England, and so we went over, and uh, so it, it, it was a fun experience. It's on Netflix now. Oh, everyone, yeah. it's yeah. on Netflix. Chris, did Christmas you, were you Candle. in the movie? I was in the movie. Ooh. I was a butler. I was a butler. Oh, wow. I did not say a word because <laughs> you just, like, I don't in, have. Maybe with a tray, or what did you do? Well, I opened the door for the main no. character at That's the very so beginning cool. of the movie. My wife has a cameo appearance too. She was in a funeral. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't That's mean to laugh, right. but if the, of all the parts right. she right. got, right? I'm no, gonna check no. that out. It was yeah. fun, yeah. it's I'm a fun movie. Us. Oh, yes, watch party. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? Um, well, I, I think it, it would be the Christmas Eve service. Okay. Um, I've been a pastor now for, um, well, since 1979, that's a long time, isn't it? Uh, and, and so with being a pastor comes a Christmas Eve service. And uh, I've never begrudged that. I love the Christmas Eve service. I do. It's crazy, you know, getting it, everybody in and, right. and seated and having a, a special service. But it's a, it's a terrific opportunity, you know, to... to uh, to talk to people about the meaning of the holidays, why we're there, because everybody there, it's been crazy getting there. You can be sure. Some of them have flown in from all over the world. Some of them, uh, it, 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 you know, been cooking, getting ready for a post-Christmas Eve uh, service dinner. So, but just to get everybody settled down and then talk about the birth of Christ. And, and to me, after the Christmas Eve service, that's when my vacation begins. <laughs> Which is nice. Right? That's yes. great. I, I, I kind of unplugged for about oh, three right. years each. I, I always <laughs> think about pastors in that time because I know I show up to Christmas Eve service ready to receive. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to really get into the spirit of what Christmas is all about. It's kind of a nice little settling before more craziness yeah. begins, right. you know, with right. Christmas yeah. morning. And so yeah. I always wonder, how is the pastor doing? Well, that's kind of you. That's Aww. kind of you. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I think it's one of the great privileges of, of, of ministry. There, not everything in ministry is, is fun, <laughs> but that part I, I really cherish. Yeah. Yeah. That is great. All right, Max, so we have a few questions for you. So why did you write Because of Bethlehem? Well, um, the challenge this time of year is to stay focused on the significance of Christmas. Um, but there's a reason we call Christmas Christmas. Yeah. 
It's not holiday mess. <laughs> it's not travel mess. Shopping mess. It's not shopping mess. Yeah. Right. yeah. Christ is in the word for a reason. There's a reason. <laughs> There's a reason. I'm not a Scrooge. I'm not down on shopping. I really think it's great when people travel. I'm all for family, all for parties. Bring on all the festivities. Right. It's great. But you, we can't lose the reason that we're doing this. And so, so because of Bethlehem, it's just a, a, a tool to help people who want to say, you know, I don't want to let this Christmas slip by. Yeah. I don't want to look up on December 26th and, and mm -hmm. think, oh, all I thought about was getting gifts or, or receiving gifts or making trips. Um, let, let's make sure that we remember why, why this season matters, its yeah. significance, and, and dedicate some time to, you know, pursuing the significance of the Christmas message. That's good. And there's a resource that I know you want to mention in the back of the book. There is. I mean, really, this entire book is so good for exactly what you just talked about, yeah. to, to get us ready for Christmas and to get us focused on what's important for Christmas. But there's 12 chapters in this book, but in the back, there is an Advent devotional guide. It's one of my favorite parts of the book because it's actually something I can participate in mm -hmm. on a weekly basis leading up to Christmas by myself or with friends or yeah. with family. Um, but Advent begins the fourth Sunday before Christmas. And so if you were to start the devotional guide the fourth Sunday before Christmas and you did it every week, it would lead you right up to Christmas. Yeah. Yep, it's really good. So make sure you check that out. And also, if you liked what we had to say, especially what Max had to say about the book, I think you're really going to enjoy this online Bible study. And so for those of you who might be watching on social and you're not signed up yet, it is not too late. Go ahead and sign up. Head on over to Proverbs31.org slash study. Mm -hmm. Get signed up and um, we would love to have you join us. Um, and also... We're going to do week one. We're ready to go. We're ready to start week one. Yes. Max, are you ready? It is I'm time. Ready. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much for, for letting me uh, be a part of this. You know, I, I remember when, when we created this, this book, uh, I was thinking, I want to write a book for people who find Christmas to be such a busy, crazy season. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think, I think that, that there's a person who's thinking, you know, I'm too busy. I, it's just too crazy. It's, there's too much hustle and bustle yes. at this time of year for me to make time for an online Bible study. Right. My response would be, no, the, you're the perfect person. Right. You're the perfect person. It's not a thick book, right. you know. Right. Uh, it's, it's packed with stories. We create it in mm -hmm. such a way that a person can read small chunks at a right. time, uh, maybe a little bit each day. Or you know what? A person could read this on a two-hour flight right. from home to grandma's or something. Yeah. So it, it's if you're the person who's saying, I'm too busy for an online Bible study, and my response to you is, no, this is perfect. I this agree. is the time. I don't, agree. Don't, don't, let the, the, don't let the devil steal the no, meaning good. of Christmas yeah. this year. Absolutely. All right? I could not agree more. It makes me excited, doesn't it? Yes. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very, very excited. All right, well, you guys, if you're new around here, you may not know something that we, we say every video. We do say it every we video. Do. Max, you're going to be saying it, I'm sure, by week four, yes. for sure. I'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs> because it is truly something we believe with all our heart, not just because someone told it to us, but because we've actually experienced this for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We believe that the Bible is the true Word of God, and that when you know the truth and live the truth, it really does change everything. everything. All right, everybody, let's have a great week one. We are so glad that you joined us today. Mm -hmm.